Det er en levettelbus, det her. I got a bird feeder for Christmas. A specific one that I wished for. From Thomas's paternal grandmother. Uh, it's this one. It's very simple uh, glass. And you put this onto the window and then you hang this on that one. And then small birds can sit here and eat the seed. So I just bought a lot of <laughs> seeds. I really hope that we're gonna get some birds. That's that's why I wanted to have this. I wanted to look at the birds because sometimes they land on the outer parts of our balcony, but they never stay for very long because we don't have anything to offer. I tried buying the small ones, little balls of food, um, but so far no luck. So. It might happen again with this, but when I walk around the neighborhood, there are so many birds, so it should be okay. They just need to discover that we have food. Um, and there's been a snowstorm, so I think that now more than ever we need to feed the birds. I even considered buying some apples just to put out for the birds, because my parents have a lot of birds in their garden eating their apples from the fall, <laughs> so... Uh, it's like a workout to go outside right now. The grocery store was pretty empty on the shelves, I think, because traffic has been delayed, so deliveries of food has probably been delayed. So I bought some frozen greens instead of fresh ones, I think that's fine. Okay. Ah. <laughs> then you see it from the inside. I really hope this works. You can see how much snow is out here. I'm wondering how sturdy this is, this glue. We thought there was a magnet at first, but it's not. Okay. You can't see at all what I'm doing. Ideally, I won't have to move it at all now. Look at this, by the way. <laughs> That's what I get for opening the door. Ah! Okay. I'll just put this in our sink, I guess.
the sunlight's gone now, but uh, that was a nice little walk. The weather was beautiful with the sun being out. I love when snowy days are like that. And I also bought some tulips just for a little bit of winter cheer here in the apartment. After being gone for two weeks, it's nice to make myself at home again. So. I knitted this sweater back in 2020 and I've barely worn it since. I don't think I've like genuinely worn it out. And I think that's such a shame because it's such a beautiful sweater and I'm really proud of it. I think a reason I haven't worn it that much is because it's kind of tight fitting. And most of the sweaters I wear are like bigger, more shapeless, kind of throw it over whatever kind of sweaters. But I, I really like having this as well. Another reason is that the sleeves are a little too short. They end like here, I think. And I think it just makes it look a little weird. And I know that this can be fixed by blocking the sweater. So I might actually do that for the first time with any of my sweaters. I haven't done that at all. <laughs> um, and then it's also quite lightweight. So especially the bottom doesn't have any edge whatsoever I just did a bind off and that's it and that makes it kind of roll up a bit and I think it doesn't really suit the kind of detail level of the rest of the sweater so I just dug out the last bit of this pink yarn that I've done all of the other details in the I-cord edge on the on the sleeves as well as on the collar and on the shoulder seam I found the rest I have of that, which isn't a lot, it's this much, but I think this should be enough to create an I-cord edge around the bottom here <laughs> to keep it rolled out and to kind of match the level of details on the rest of the sweater. And then I am going to block it, I think, also to stretch out the sleeves a little bit so that we can see the lovely holes here. That's a project for the new year, four years after knitting this one. I think it's time for it to see the light of day. I think I'm also, I'm gravitating towards more gentle and neutral colors now in my wardrobe than I was when I made this. Uh, so it, it kind of fits me better now than it did back then. And so the life cycle of creations can be quite long. 
It also creates a really beautiful shadow I'm gonna show you. And we've had a lot of black bird sightings here on the balcony, which is lovely. The snow is melting today. It's a warm day and the days have been really foggy. I pretty quickly discovered that the I cord would be too tight because it's not an elastic bind off at all. I thought I bypassed this problem by using a bigger needle to knit the I cord edge to give it a little more stretch, a little more material to give from. Uh, but it's still, I know that I could block this to prevent it from happening, but the fit of it is really changed by this being too tight for my hips and not stretchy enough to go over my shoulders and stuff. It's just kind of awkward. I want this to be really right because I've spent so many hours on this sweater. So at this stage already, it's kind of, let's see, you can see it here. Like, so <laughs> I have an alternative solution that I just thought of now after spending some time knitting this I cord and thinking while I was doing it, oh, this probably isn't going to work, is it? Um, but I just wanted to make sure before I did something different because it is what I've done in these other bind off places. Um, my idea is to knit a, I've got like all of the knitting terminology in my brain just disappeared as I had to explain this. Um, my idea is to knit the bottom part in a garter stitch, but then have the wrong side out, so to speak. So it'll curl in on itself and kind of look a little bit like this, maybe. The saga of this sweater continues.
Ready? Woo!